The cross product is defined in three dimensional space only. The cross product of two vectors is a new vector which is perpendicular to the plane of the two original vectors. Here is the vector A and the vector B, and these both lie in this plane, indicated by the green lines. The cross product of vector A with B is a new vector which is perpendicular to this plane. So this is the cross product of vector A with vector B. The length or size or magnitude of this vector is given by the area of the parallelogram formed by the two original vectors A and B. So that's the area of the parallelogram there. So this area, given by the yellow shaded area, is equal to the length of the vector A crossed with B. The direction of the cross product is given by the right hand rule. So if you align your index finger along vector A, you align your middle finger along vector B here, then the cross product of vector A with B is in the direction of your thumb, where this is at 90 degrees to the plane of both A and B. Remember that the cross product results in a vector, whereas the dot product results in a scalar. This example is asking you to find the cross product of vector B with vector A. So let's find B multiplied by A. Whichever vector is first, this is the vector you must align your index finger along. So you will align your index finger along the vector B. So your index finger is aligned along here, then your middle finger is aligned along the vector A, and then your thumb will give the direction of vector B crossed with vector A. This is not the same as vector A crossed with B, as this time, if you do this correctly, and you should practice this and check you get it yourself, it should point in towards the screen. This is the cross product of vector B with vector A.